carmakers are at a crossroads, as the automotive industry is about to change, in more ways than one. Not only is everybody pushing for a switch to electric drivetrains, but some of the companies doing business in this field have also begun investing in alternative means of mobility, including VTOL aircraft, while others are dipping their toes in robotics. And at the rate things are going, it will only be a matter of time until more players join in. Japanese carmaker Toyota is involved in pretty much all of these. Aside from making cars, the company is investing in VTOL maker Joby Aviation. It is also involved in the development of a rover for extraterrestrial worlds together with the Japanese Space Agency, and its research into robotics is considered cutting edge. It's this latter aspect of Toyota that's of interest to us now, or more specifically, the Toyota Research Institute. The entity is engaged in improving quality of life for individuals and society through robots, AI, and the likes. Over the years, the institute has developed a series of large behavior models, LBM, for use in robots, which aim, among other things, to help machines improve their dexterous manipulation skills. Toyota Research Institute got under the spotlight this week after it signed a partnership with Boston Dynamics to deploy said LBMs into the Atlas robot. The Atlas is one of the newest hot robots on the block. The most recent version was unveiled in the spring of this year as one of the most advanced of its kind on the market. Atlas is a humanoid robot made of titanium and aluminum 3D printed parts, with no less than 28 electrically powered joints allowing it to move its arms and legs for whatever purpose. The thing stands at 5 feet tall and weighs 196 pounds. Its telltale feature is the head, a round piece of equipment adorned with a light ring that kind of makes it look like the robot from the Lost in Space TV series. The machine has been designed to perform pretty much the same tasks as a human, especially in industrial applications. It can maneuver loads, even in the form of objects with irregular shapes, and moves in a bipedal fashion. When it presented Atlas, Boston Dynamics didn't say much about the software that powers it. What we knew was that it was the same software that powered the previous versions of the robot. Plans were to gift it with the Orbit, a solution that's already deployed in another Boston Dynamics product, the Spot. Toyota's partnership with the American company, which, by the way, is owned by South Korean carmaker Hyundai, aims to teach the Atlas a thing or two about how to behave and operate when conducting its business. The undisclosed LBM that will be paired with the robot is meant to give it the means to perform a multitude of tasks, all with the goal of advancing our understanding on how robots will work alongside humans and how they'll interact with their flesh and blood peers. It's unclear when the joint project will begin, or how long it will last, but the data gained from the LBM-powered Atlas will support the training of other such systems. Separate research will look into what it takes to train robots and give them whole-body sensing that should allow them to solve real-world problems. Last, but not least, the team will investigate human-robot interaction and how it can be made safe. As of now, there are several humanoid robots in the works at the hands of various companies, and several of them have already attracted the attention of carmakers and other industry players. The Atlas we talked about will be used by Hyundai in the near future in one of its factories, 